What's up, you sweaty nerds and greasy degenerates? So forewarning, the tone of this video will be a little bit different than normal, but hopefully I should be able to get in and out of your hair pretty quickly with this. Um, so as you can see on screen, and as the title would suggest, I received a copyright strike from Hoyoverse themselves. Not directly, it was kind of like through a third party. I'll explain that in just a moment, but I wanted to just show you guys this image on screen really quickly before we move forward so I can show you what the original thumbnail that I created looked like because it's now gone because Hoyoverse took the video down. The video was about Sparkle, otherwise known as Hanabi, because Hoyoverse themselves, through the Honkai Star Rail official Twitter, announced that she would be coming to Honkai Star Rail. And so I was on the Honkai Star Rail official Twitter the entire duration of the video, talking about publicly available information that was spread across the entire world by Hoyoverse themselves. So as you might imagine, this is a little bit of a bummer to find out because Pancake did nothing wrong. Okay, <laughs> like it's as simple as that. I literally did nothing wrong. I was gone for about a week. And when I came back, I found out that like the day after I went, like I like kind of went offline, I apparently got a copyright strike. So I didn't even know about this for like a week or more. Like this was pretty rough. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at this. So I got one copyright strike. A copyright owner asked us to take down your video because they believe it contains material that violates their copyright. As a result, your video was removed from YouTube. Bummer. Uh, your channel received a strike. Yeah, I found out. If you get three strikes, uh, your account, along with any associated accounts, will be subject to termination. Sick. Um, what you can do, do nothing. Uh, the strike expires after 90 days as long as you complete copyright school. Um, you could uh, request a retraction, which I've already done. You do that by emailing them. I'll explain that again in just a moment. Um, and you could also submit a counter notification. Um, deleting the video will not remove the strike. Um, so I can't delete the video because it's gone. You guys did that yourselves. I received this strike on January 6th. Um, it expires in 81 days if I do nothing. And the content was removed by Cognosphere PTE LTD. A lot of you are probably like, who the heck is that? Um, well, that is actually Hoyoverse. Um, MiHoYo, aiming to expand its content production, technology, research, and publications outside China. In February 22, MiHoYo launched its global publishing subsidiary, Cognosphere PTE LTE, rebranded as Hoyoverse and stylized as Cognosphere based in Jurong East Singapore. Hopefully I said uh, that correctly. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys that really quickly so you knew what was kind of going on. The video no longer exists. I happen to have the original video still. You see here that it's 12 minutes, 11 seconds long. Just a heads up, YouTube sometimes rounds up a little tiny bit. If you're at like 12 minutes, 30 seconds, whatever, they'll round up just a little bit just to make it more clean for them, I guess you could say. I have the original video here. This is the video. I'm hovering over it. You can see that it says 12 minutes, 10 seconds right there. But if I try to open this up, we'll go over here, open it up. I just want to show you guys the, the proof here, the, the receipts. Okay? You can see that. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not. Let me try to, like, move this out. 12 minutes. Jesus, come on now. 12 minutes, uh, 9 seconds long. 12 minutes, 10 seconds. Oh, let's move it over. 12 minutes, 10 seconds. You guys get the picture. This is the, this is the damn video. Um, so if I play this in the background here, and I will play this throughout the video periodically while I'm, you know, yapping about, um, there's literally nothing wrong here. I'm on the literal Honkai Star Rail official Twitter. There it is. I'm literally on a public space talking about publicly available information that Honkai Star Rail themselves put out. I put, I talked about it the day that she like was publicly announced. You guys might notice, and it's, some of you are annoyed by the fact that I purposefully avoid this type of content. I purposefully avoid um, the type of content that can get me in trouble, like spoilers, like leaks, that type of stuff. I specifically try to avoid this type of thing, and I'm still getting caught up in this type of thing. So for all the people that consistently annoy the blazes out of me in the comments by saying, Oh, you know, don't you know her kit was already, her kit was already leaked. Her kit was already leaked. Shut up. I don't care that her kit was already leaked. 
I'm not allowed to talk about it, clearly. I can't even talk about the character if the character was publicly announced by Hoyoverse themselves, man. So shut up, stupid. You think, you think, I, you think I don't know her kit was leaked? I don't give a damn, okay? I'm not allowed to talk about it. If, as you can as you can see okay so let's get into this a little bit further i got an email from them that i think is okay for me to show you guys at least some of what's going on in the email i won't show you um what they sent to me but as you can see here i can select an action and that the options i have are to email the claimant um which is infringement at removeyourmedia.com so let's just take a quick peek at who, what's removeyourmedia.com? One second, I gotta put my mic down. My bad. Okay, so Remove Your Media is quite literally um, a website that, you know, companies will use to literally remove their copyrighted material from online sources. So as you might be able to tell, a human being did not give me the actual copyright strike. This is pretty clearly some AI generated BS and I got a copyright strike for literally no reason whatsoever. Nothing at all. Just an, an what is it, an anti-piracy solution? Yeah, right, dude. Like, Hoyoverse, get your money back, bro. Get your money back, okay? Like, basically what they've done is they've thrown out a big old net and they've caught all kinds of fishes in it, okay? They caught all the bad fishes. They're catching some of the good fishes. And the funny thing about it, a lot of the bad fishes are free to go, okay? There are people that, are, that have channels that are dedicated, okay? Dedicated. What the heck is this? There are channels that are dedicated to um, leaks. There are channels that are dedicated to spoilers. And those channels remain totally fine. I don't know fully how they do that. I have my suspicions. I'm not going to really talk about that too much because I don't want anybody else getting any bright ideas, okay? So the other option that I have here is to submit a counter notification. A counter notification is a legal request to reinstate a removed video. It takes up to 10 business days for the final decision by the claimant by a filing counter notification. Oh, by filing a counter notification, you're beginning a legal process. Yeah, you can see that this sounds a little bit intimidating for someone like myself that didn't expect to end up in this particular situation. So I am not 100% sure what to do, but clearly I'm going to have to submit a counter notification because I'm sick of this type of crap, okay? Because I received a copyright strike from Hoyoverse a really long time ago over something that I felt like was a bit bogus too. But here's the problem. I didn't have the original video to protect myself in the past. And I needed that to be able to protect myself. That's something I found out from another content creator that had this exact same problem. Only back then, it was about a Fu Shuan video. And the Fu Shuan video, apparently, they sent out mass copyright strikes for Fu Shuan videos around that time. I know two content creators who I will not name just so that they don't like look bad for whatever reason, but just so that you guys know, they did nothing wrong, right? This is, this is people that have done nothing wrong that are getting caught up in the net, the wide net that Hoyoverse has thrown out. So I'm making this video for two reasons to kind of like tell you guys my experience, actually three reasons, tell you guys my experience. Um, for anyone who like, is interested in what happens when this type of thing goes down, like what people go through. This is, you're, you're watching it right now. Um, and thirdly, to tell leakers and spoilers to stop, okay? It's one thing to sort of like talk about this on Discord. It's another thing to talk about this, you know what I mean, on, on Reddit or whatever. People have to go out of their way to be able to find that information. And they will, okay? They will. They'll look it up, all right? They're going to figure it out if they really care. You don't need to post this on YouTube, okay? Because when you post it on YouTube, something bad happens. When you post up something on YouTube, people end up getting what is called recommended, okay? They get recommended, right? People's videos. People's videos that sometimes are about leaks. 
people's videos that are sometimes about spoilers. Okay? Some people don't want the story of the game spoiled to them. Back when Dan Hung and Bibiter Lune was coming out, people were getting spoiled on the story because people were posting up leaks because apparently the cutscenes, or at least some of the cutscenes, ended up getting put up on YouTube. And it really confused a lot of people because, believe it or not, a small amount of the leaks community actually thought at a certain point that Jing Yuan was going to die when Dan Hung became Dan Hung and Bibiter Lune because they had one cutscene, but they didn't have the other. They didn't have the full context. It's almost like Hoyoverse didn't intend for you to see that. So please, for the love of God, stop posting leaks on YouTube. Leave that for Discord. Leave that for, you know what I mean, like Reddit or whatever. Stop posting it on YouTube, okay? I understand that like the first time someone probably posts up a video like that, they don't realize that what they're doing is wrong, right? They don't realize that they're making a mistake, okay? Um, I get that. But at some point, you got to see the writing on the wall, man. Like, you're screwing it up for everybody else. I actively avoid this type of thing, and I still get caught in the net. And the only reason why Hoyoverse is cracking down so hard on this is because people are constantly leaking. And dude, I know that it's Hoyoverse's fault too, because they're the... Why, where do you think the leaks are coming from? Hoyoverse, look yourself in the mirror, okay? All right? Then look to your right, and then look to your left. One of those dudes is probably leaking your stuff, okay? You got to reflect and look at yourself, okay? This is, this is coming from y'all. This doesn't just appear out of nowhere, all right? Some of these leaks are coming from y'all, okay? Now, every new patch, people data mine the information that comes in the new patch. And there's nothing Hoyoverse can really do about that. You know what I mean? Every new patch, a whole bunch of new wave of leaks go on to YouTube. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but every new patch, people data mine the patch, and we get a little bit of a sneak peek from data miners about what's coming in the patch after the new patch that just came out. That's why you see a lot of, uh, I'm not going to talk about this too much, like I said, but you see a lot of characters that don't exist in the game yet showing up on YouTube, which should not be there, right? And we're seeing their kit, we're seeing their combat animations, we're seeing literal battles against bosses that we shouldn't be able to see yet. Remember Fantilia? If you were, if you experienced Fantilia organically, that was fun, right? That was a cool experience, right? But the thing is, a lot of people didn't get to have that experience because randomly just boom, across their recommended pops up Fantilia. And it's kind of hard to not see that anymore after you've already seen that. She's literally the thumbnail of some of these people's videos, right? You can't go back and find those videos. You want to know why? Because Hoyoverse took them down, which they should have, and I'm happy they did. But this is getting out of hand, you guys. Okay? This isn't, this isn't fun. Okay? Like, people like myself have to deal with this kind of crap. It's not cool. But more importantly, forget about me. I don't care about me, okay? Like, I'll deal with this, whatever. You know, it sucks. I have to deal with this, but that's life. You know what I mean? Suck it up and get over it. But I am more upset about the people that are getting spoiled for story that they don't want to get spoiled on. Right. I'm, I'm, I, I think it sucks for people that actively avoid this type of stuff and they're forced to see it because your video pops up on their screen and your video ends up spoiling the story for them or spoiling a character that's coming out for them. You're ruining people's fun. OK, there's a reason why Hoyoverse hasn't told us about some of these characters yet, because they want it to be a surprise. Right. They want some of this to be fun a fun, interesting surprise, especially if it's a boss fight from combat that we have yet to experience yet. Ventilia was such a fun reveal, man. And that got ruined. Like, fuck you, right? Like, screw you, man, for showing, for, for, for ruining people's fun for that. Okay, oh God, well, I'm trying to be serious right now and then somebody in the video I'm showing right now is being stupid. But as you can tell from this video, the entire time, I spend the whole entire time on Twitter, 
I'm literally on Twitter talking about the characters that Hoyoverse themselves released on the Honkai Starro official Twitter. All right, now let me see if I can find the email for you guys just so we can close out this video with something interesting. All right, so I found the email and uh, it doesn't have anything here, honestly, that you guys didn't already see from the other page. I thought it would, but and I, I, I don't need to show you, but I, I said it would, so here you go. Um, let me just make sure my email's not showing so you guys don't send me any dick pics or whatever. Yeah, no, we're good. Um, but yeah, you can see that submitting account notification is one of my options, and I can also <laughs> suffer severe legal consequences for submitting account notification with false information. What about making a false copyright claim? Huh? Huh? Yeah, didn't think so. Thanks, YouTube. You can also contact the party that removed your video and ask them to retract their removal request, which I already did, and I have not received anything back from them yet. So hopefully, um, Remove Your Media does the right thing and um, actually takes back this uh, request because it's a false request. I did absolutely nothing wrong. And um, I noticed something here that I, I mentioned earlier, but I don't know if you guys paid enough attention to this. It takes up to 10 business days for the final decision by the claimant. Remove your media is the claimant. So YouTube is probably not going to be able to help me on this at all because they're just hands off. If YouTube does not touch it, if they pretend it doesn't exist, they can't be legally um, you know, held responsible for anything. That's just the way it works. I'm not hating on YouTube. That's just the way it's been for a long time. And I get why they do it. It's the way they probably should be doing it. But this does mean that it's on, you know, remove your media to actually do the right thing and take this back. So hopefully they do. Um, hopefully this video was you know, interesting or helpful for anybody else who's in this type of scenario, been in this type of scenario, are worried about ending up in this type of scenario. Um, if you've been in this type of situation before, if you're a content creator, you know, maybe try to get in touch with me if you have any advice you might be able to give me or whatever. Um, otherwise, you know, no, no worries, no harm, no foul. Um, if this video was entertaining, consider leaving a like and subscribe or not. I don't really care. This is mostly supposed to be an informative video to let you guys know what happens with this type of situation. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. And I might make an update for this whenever this situation gets resolved. All right. Peace out.